Welcome back to another episode of Balling With, guys. We are still going over the division winners for the week. Uh, today we are on the AFC West. <clears throat> Take a look at the NFC Conference and the standings. We're going to get to them soon. Uh, but let's take a dive right into the AFC West. Last season, this was looked at as one of the powerhouse divisions. We didn't know what was going to happen, who was going to win. Uh, it was going to be a, a, a fight to a finish. And what happened? My boy, Pat Mahone, boy. That boy's cold, bro. That boy's that boy might be best to ever do it. All said and done. No cap. No cap. No lie. 14-3. and three. The record speaks for itself. We can pull up the stats as well. I'll make a video of the stats or something. Let me jot that down. Um, let's take a look right into the FanDuel odds as well, man. Uh, we had their that we had them right here, the AFC West, and they are favored for a reason. You know why? Because they are the freaking Super Bowl champs. Um, Pat Mahomes just does it. Uh, Travis Kelsey uh, still coming off a great year and probably will still do the same thing. He's been fighting this, fighting this um, past couple of days at training camp. Uh, and it doesn't matter. He, uh, he's pretty energy. He's, he's hyped up. He's ready to go, man. He, that means he they ready. That means they are ready. No lie. And uh, he took a pay cut. Pat Mahomes took a pay cut to make sure everything is good for other players on the team. Uh, Andy Reid is a great coach. Uh, he's going to continue to do this dynasty. The Chiefs are definitely going to win the division. Um, and I don't know if they're going to win the Super Bowl. They definitely have a chance to go back. Uh, it's definitely going to be a great shot. Uh, we're going to see how it plays out this year. The only chance right now uh it was a great division with Derek Carr man and we wanted to see how the Chargers Mike Williams got injured early and uh and Herbert got injured a little early in the season last year and I kind of messed up there uh and Keenan Allen got injured late in the season too so they had played injuries to finish 10 and 7 still went to the playoffs and then Jacksonville Jaguars were able to dismantle them with that being said they just paid Herbert as well uh a nice contract uh, he's, you know, he hasn't won a playoff game yet, but he is there. He is there. I have him and their defense, man. They have Khalil Mack, Darren James. They got some other players. They have, uh, they have a solid core. Their offense is great. And they just drafted another great receiver. The best receiver in my eyes, I think his name was Quentin Williams. I don't know if that's his exact name from TCU, the tall guy, uh, or just blending his name with Mike Williams, but they're both great receivers and Keenan Allen. They're all great studs. Um, they got to just throw it up and he's going to get it. You got to put him on ball placement. And it's another team that's messing up with their running back, man. Austin Eckler has been producing. Why are you not paying him? Uh, he does what he needs to do. He gets running back carries, you know, $8 million to $12 million a year, bro. And that not the market for these type of running backs to actually produce him for a couple years. Like, you're paying your receivers the same thing, bro. Y'all, the running backs are coming out the field catching the ball, too. And he's one of the top – Behind Chris McCaffrey as, as far as catching the ball, and, and and he gets touchdowns. He gets touchdowns. So, you know, it's, it's, I'm going to get into that topic of the Jim Irsay and the, uh, Jonathan Taylor and the running back market too as well, guys. So stay tuned. <clears throat> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe as well. We got more videos coming out. Uh, let's dive right into the Raiders. I don't know who their exact quarterback will be. I think they uh, – the guy from last season that finished off the season over their car, the – I love Las Vegas, but the Raiders are just oh man, I don't know. You you went and got out the talent, Devontae Adams, the guy who we played with, Derek Carr. That was supposed to be the dream team, man. That was supposed to be the matchup or build that chemistry. And now y'all just broke it off. Now the best receiver you have on the team is like, what the heck? What, what what's gonna happen to me now? So Raiders is continuing to be shitty. Devontae Adams and DeAndre Hawkins are in bad situations. Uh the quarterback was okay, he was decent. Um, but I don't think they will be the court, the team that they thought they would be with their car and uh, speculations of everything going on. Uh, and Josh Jacobs, man, another running back, bro. And if he's not there, that's definitely a, a tall tale of what Devontae Adams going to request a trade. You don't want to be there no more. Raiders is just going to be with the Raiders, bro. And sad to say, man, sad to say. These organization coaches and um, owners be messing up, messing up their stuff, man. They don't want to win. And it's, just, it's money into it. They don't want to win. They, they hold out for three seasons to be bad, get a good player prospect to highlight it, okay, get the, the, the team or the city to uh, get some hope again and then lose it all just like that. Josh Jacobs come to Washington, man. Uh, we got the Denver Broncos. Got the new coach, uh, new coach, Kashawn Payton. They had the they had a um pretty disappointing I uh, say season and Sean Payton has actually came out and grilled the Broncos uh coaching staff as one of the worst coach 
the teams last season. So we want to really see how that changed perspectives. I do think they have a have a shot of being second with the Chargers, but I do not think they're going to win the division at all. Chiefs are going to win this division again, of course. Um, depends how they, they finish out these games. Like it's, I think they had a pretty couple close games that was uh, decided between the touchdown. Um, what else happened? Russ Wilson was not, you know, making no timely reads. Um, they they let go with Gordon, the running back. Uh, they got a couple receivers, Sutton and um, Judy. Uh, the defense is not bad, but I do not think they're – I do think they're going to finish over the Raiders. I do think they're going to finish over the Raiders. This Chiefs at minus 180 is not bad. I'll definitely hammer that 180. Put 10,000 on that. No cap. Uh, but that being said, guys, that's a great video today. Uh, got the ASC – West out the way. The next one we're going to do the NFC East and the NFC Conference as well. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Uh, we got a lot more in store for this summer coming up. Uh, podcasts, highlights, news, reports, um, sports bets, all the one in all, all in order. I mean, all together, all around sports channel. Following with guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We got a lot in store. Uh, appreciate you guys for the support, and we're out. Dang.